I think that's something that we all can work with as human beings because there's always exchange of energy. I think that's how we connect with people and why we don't connect with people. And um, I'm a big energy person. I feel it all the time. I, I just, I love talking about these deep connections and these conversations. And so I think that's a part of it is this, the confidence to be yourself, to show up in any space and be who you know you are and it's coming from a good place and that hopefully can spread like Katie was saying. And it doesn't mean that you need to put something that you think is good onto someone, but allow them to show up in your space. And if they want something from you or they, you know, they want more information, great. But if they don't, their time will come. It's all about timing for everyone, I feel, so. Yeah, and I think, I think there's so much, um... I mean, maybe comfort's not the right word because that, that comfort gets a bad rap these days. But I do think that there is something about establishing a rapport and knowing that mm-hmm. like we are, <clears throat> we all struggle with the same things, that there's so much universal truth to our mm-hmm. stories. And that like when we, we can feel really alone in something we're struggling with. And then when we realize that, oh my gosh, like everybody at every walk of life from, you know, Olympians to 13 year old girls, like we're all struggling with the same stuff. And the things that we also have to teach the world are coming from the things that we most need to learn ourselves, right? So you put yourself in this position where we, you bounce back and forth between teacher and student and realize that you're always in a position to do both. And then like magic happens. It's the coolest stuff. But, um, yeah, I do think that realizing that you're not alone in the struggle is, is, it's really, really important. 